Good morning. My name is James Roberts, lead news anchor for ABC7 News here in New York City. Today, we have an interesting story to tell you guys this morning. Apparently there have been some wild rumors going around that the world will be ending on December 21st, 2022. Well, this day is 10 years to the day of the infamous end of the world prediction by the ancient Mayans on December 21st, 2012. This was because this was the end of their long count calendar that they created more than 2,200 years ago. People said all these natural disasters were going to happen, then a fictional planet known as Planet X, or Nibiru, would collide with Earth, leading to our demise. Here we are, nearly 10 years later, and nothing happened. This planet is still thriving, and life exists all around. According to several reports, people have said that the things that were predicted to happen on December 21, 2012, will happen exactly 10 years later, which includes several natural disasters of unprecedented proportions impacting our planet, and the fictional planet, known as Nibiru, will smash into Earth, ending all life as we know it. Another wild thing that people have been saying that there will be a virus that turns its victims into zombies. Wow! There are some crazy people out here. And besides, zombies aren't even real anyways. They only belong in fiction. Don't worry, folks. I think this is going to be December 21st, 2012 all over again. There are just people out here who just say ridiculous things just to get attention. Live in Midtown Manhattan is my correspondent, Tracy Roberts. Tracy, are you there? Yes, I am here in Midtown Manhattan, where business is usual at this time. It is just an average Wednesday morning here in New York City, where you have people either catching the subway or taxi to wherever they need to go or just walking around taking a stroll on the streets. Like you said, there have been some wild rumors all over social media and the internet saying the world is going to end on December 21, 2022. This is 10 years to the day of the notorious prediction by the ancient Mayans of Doomsday occurring on December 21, 2012. President Joe Biden has stated that this is really nothing to be concerned about, as he has stated that people like to go online and spread all these crazy rumors just to get attention and try to spread propaganda. I agree with the president, and we are all going to be okay, and this will be just another ludicrous end of the world prediction that never happens. Remember, don't trust everything you see on the internet and social media. And, if something crazy like this happens for some apparent reason, we have to be prepared when disaster strikes. But trust me, nothing will happen, just like on December 21, 2012. Back over to you. James. Thank you, Tracy. We will provide you with more information whenever it becomes available. This is James Roberts, from ABC7 News in New York City. Message is transmitted at the request of the United States National Guard and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Mass rioting, looting, and civil unrest have been reported across several major cities in the United States. These cities include Los Angeles, New York City, Houston, Chicago, Philadelphia, Boston, Atlanta, St. Louis, and many more. People that are participating in these riots are causing massive damage to property, injuries, fatalities, and even fires. It has also been reported that riders have been seen hoarding supplies from grocery and convenience stores, such as food, drinks, etc. The cause of these riots is believed to be a mass panic due to rumors circulating that the world is going to end two weeks from today, on December 21, 2022. 
Several sources have claimed that several natural disasters of unprecedented proportions will strike the world, a virus which turns people into zombies, and the fictional planet known as Planet X, or Nibiru, will collide with our planet, ending all life on Earth as we know it. These claims are considered to be false, as these are just wild rumors. However, in the case these occurrences actually happen, you must be prepared when disaster strikes. Police departments and National Guard troops in these cities have arrived at the scene and are currently dealing with the situation. As a precaution, all residents receiving this message are strongly advised to remain indoors with all windows and doors locked. Do not approach these rioters as they are considered extremely dangerous. It has also been reported that several of the rioters are carrying firearms. If one of them managed to enter your home, use armed protection by all means, this includes lethal force. Do not participate in the riots. I repeat, do not participate in the riots. If you do so, you will be arrested and could face serious criminal charges. Also, do not panic. There is nothing to worry about, as there is no evidence to back up these wild claims about the end of the world. Also, panicking will make the situation worse than it already is. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this developing situation. This is CNN Breaking News. Good morning to all of our viewers in the United States and across the world. My name is Matthew Young, and we do have some breaking news this morning. Mass rioting, looting, and civil unrest have been reported across several major cities in the United States. These cities include Los Angeles, New York City, Houston, Chicago, Philadelphia, Boston, Atlanta, St. Louis, and many more. People that are participating in these riots are causing massive damage to property, injuries, fatalities, and even fires. It has also been reported that rioters have been seen hoarding supplies from grocery and convenience stores, such as food, drinks, etc. The cause of these riots is believed to be a mass panic due to rumors circulating that the world is going to end two weeks from today, on December 21, 2022. 10 years to the day of the notorious end of the world prediction by the ancient Mayans on December 21, 2012. Several sources have claimed that several natural disasters of unprecedented proportions will strike the world, a virus which turns people into zombies, and the fictional planet known as Planet X, or Nibiru, will collide with our planet, ending all life on Earth as we know it. These claims are considered to be false, as these are just wild rumors. Police departments and National Guard troops are already at the scene and are currently dealing with this situation. Residents that are in these cities are being advised to remain indoors with all windows and doors locked. Do not approach these rioters as they are considered extremely dangerous. It has also been reported that several of the rioters are carrying firearms. If one of them managed to enter your home, use armed protection by all means, this includes lethal force. Do not participate in the riots. I repeat, do not participate in the riots. If you do so, you will be arrested and could face serious criminal charges. Also, do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. This is some pretty crazy stuff here, folks. Live in Midtown Manhattan is my correspondent, Joanna Smith. Joanna, are you there? I am live in Midtown Manhattan, and it is absolutely chaos. From what I am seeing, thousands of people are roaming the streets, going absolutely insane and are causing massive damage to property, injuries, fatalities, and even fires. This is not only happening here in New York City, but in several major cities in the United States, such as Los Angeles, Chicago, Philadelphia, Boston, Atlanta, St. Louis, and many more. You guessed it, the reason why people are acting this way is because of some crazy end-of-the-world rumors that aren't even true. This is what happens when you believe everything you see on social media and the internet. President Joe Biden has recently posted a statement on Twitter saying, we shouldn't be going out on the streets, acting like animals, and causing destruction and chaos simply because of ludicrous claims online. Instead, 
we should be acting like citizens of one nation and remain calm and wait patiently for the latest updates. But if these claims somehow become reality, we should be prepared when disaster strikes. If you are in an area that is subject to rioting, please, remain indoors with all windows and doors locked for your safety. Hundreds of arrests have already been made and people could be facing serious criminal charges such as vandalism, disorderly conduct, shoplifting, and arson. Do not participate in these riots, or else you will be arrested or even shot by National Guard troops. Do not panic. There is nothing to worry about, as there is no evidence to back up these wild claims about the end of the world. Also, panicking will make the situation worse than it already is. Doomsday is coming, motherfuckers. We're all going to fucking die. Our demise is inevitable. National Information Center Statement The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the United States Geological Survey, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the United States Government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. It has been confirmed by several internet and news sources as well as government officials, that the supposed end of the world rumors that started yesterday, which were originally false, are now true. Our world will be coming to an end on December 21, 2022. According to a report published by CNN, here is what is going to be happening over the next 13 days, starting tomorrow, several natural disasters of unprecedented proportions will strike the world. These include, a massive 9.8 magnitude earthquake striking the city of Los Angeles, a massive 1,000-foot megatsunami striking the west coast of the United States, the Yellowstone, and Long Valley calderas as well as several other volcanoes in the northwest erupting, a massive tornado outbreak striking the Midwest, a historic heat wave and wildfires impacting the southwest, a massive blizzard and bone-chilling temperatures striking the northeast as well as Canada, Historic flooding from thunderstorms containing extremely heavy rain in the southeast, two Category 5 hurricanes, one making landfall on the Florida Atlantic coast and another making landfall near the city of New Orleans. 
And to top it all off, on December 21st, the planet known as Planet X, or Nibiru, will collide with Earth, ending all life as we know it. The only claim from the supposed rumors yesterday that is false is the virus which turns people into zombies. However, the natural disasters and Nibiru impacting Earth will happen. No action needs to be taken at this time, but when disaster strikes, please prepare yourself accordingly. Most importantly, do not panic. I repeat, do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on this dangerous situation. This is CBS News here in New York City, and we currently have some breaking news. Looks like those wild end-of-the-world rumors that started yesterday, that were originally false, are now true. It has been confirmed by several internet and news sources as well as government officials that our world is, in fact, coming to an end on December 21, 2022. Looks like this won't be December 21, 2012 after all. This prediction seemed to come out of nowhere, unlike 10 years ago which was predicted by the ancient Mayans over 2,000 years ago. Yesterday, most major cities in the United States experienced mass rioting due to people falling into a panic over these end-of-the-world claims. Looks like these people knew something. Even CNN was hacked yesterday and had a not-safe-for-work message, and it said that doomsday is coming, we're all going to die, and our demise is inevitable. According to a report published by CNN, here is what is going to be happening over the next 13 days, starting tomorrow, several natural disasters of unprecedented proportions will strike the world. These include, a massive 9.8 magnitude earthquake striking the city of Los Angeles, a massive 1,000-foot mega tsunami striking the west coast of the United States, the Yellowstone and Long Valley calderas as well as several other volcanoes in the northwest erupting, a massive tornado outbreak striking the Midwest, a historic heat wave and wildfires impacting the Southwest, a massive blizzard and bone-chilling temperatures striking the Northeast as well as Canada, historic flooding from thunderstorms containing extremely heavy rain in the Southeast, two Category 5 hurricanes, one making landfall on the Florida Atlantic coast and another making landfall near the city of New Orleans. And to top it all off, on December 21st, the planet known as Planet X, or Nibiru, will collide with Earth, ending all life as we know it. The only claim from the supposed rumors yesterday that is false is the virus which turns people into zombies. However, the natural disasters and Nibiru impacting Earth will happen. Even though no action needs to be taken at this time, you must be prepared accordingly when disaster strikes. Most importantly, do not panic. I repeat, do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. Time is running out. We only have 13 days left until doomsday. You must prepare. Now. Even though that we're all fucked, we must prepare for the apocalypse. Because starting tomorrow, chaos will be unleashed on this planet. And it will be something to behold. My fellow Americans, good evening. I wish I had some good news to tell to the American people. But due to the circumstances surrounding our nation and our planet, that I have to deliver some sad and terrifying news to you all. It has been confirmed by several internet and news sources as well as government officials, that the supposed end of the world rumors that started yesterday, which were originally false, are now true. 
our world will be coming to an end on December 21, 2022, 13 days from now. Ironically, this is 10 years to the day of the infamous end of the world prediction by the ancient Mayans on December 21, 2012. However, nothing happened on that day, and our planet is still here, and life still exists and this nation is thriving as it always has. Here is what is going to be happening over the next 13 days, starting tomorrow, several natural disasters of unprecedented proportions will strike the world. These include, a massive 9.8 magnitude earthquake striking the city of Los Angeles, a massive 1,000-foot megatsunami striking the west coast of the United States, the Yellowstone, and Long Valley calderas as well as several other volcanoes in the northwest erupting, a massive tornado outbreak striking the Midwest, a historic heat wave and wildfires impacting the Southwest, a massive blizzard and bone-chilling temperatures striking the Northeast as well as Canada, historic flooding from thunderstorms containing extremely heavy rain in the Southeast, two Category 5 hurricanes, one making landfall on the Florida Atlantic coast and another making landfall near the city of New Orleans. And to top it all off, on December 21, the planet known as Planet X, or Nibiru, will collide with Earth, ending all life as we know it. The only claim from the supposed rumors yesterday that is false is the virus which turns people into zombies. However, the natural disasters and Nibiru impacting Earth will happen. I have some advice that all Americans should take. Time is running out. We only have 13 days until doomsday. What is terrifying about this doomsday date is that it was predicted just yesterday, with no warning at all. Please prepare a survival kit that includes non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio for when disaster strikes. Most importantly, do not panic. I repeat, do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. For example, yesterday, thousands of civilians took the streets of many of our major cities, and began rioting, looting, and causing massive damage to property, injuries, fatalities, and even fires. Thousands of people who were taking part in the riots have been arrested and are being charged with crimes such as vandalism, theft, disorderly conduct, shoplifting, arson, and unlawful use of a weapon, since many of the rioters were carrying firearms. Even in these unprecedented times, we must unite together as one nation, under God. Even in our final days on earth, do everything that makes you comfortable and happy. Spend plenty of time with your family and friends. Ask for forgiveness. Try not to tell young children about this event, and ensure their well-being during these dark times. Thank you for listening to this message, and as always, God bless America. following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. At approximately 7.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a gigantic earthquake has struck the city of Los Angeles, California. This quake has a preliminary magnitude of 9.8 on the Richter scale, which makes it the largest earthquake ever recorded. The earthquake's epicenter is right in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. 
Apocalyptic devastation has been reported in the city of Los Angeles and surrounding areas, and it is believed that there can be thousands of people dead, injured, or missing. It has also been reported that the surface ground in the city is crumbling and collapsing into the Earth's crust. This is most likely due to a massive rupture of the San Andreas fault line. This earthquake has been felt throughout most of the western United States, with shaking being reported as far east as Las Vegas, Nevada, as far north as Eugene, Oregon, and as far south as the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. In addition, several fires have been reported in the Los Angeles metropolitan area, causing even more damage and casualties. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to take the following precautions, stay calm. Panicking will only make the situation worse. Turn off all gas to prevent more fires. If you spot a fire, put it out immediately, so it doesn't spread. If you hear a hissing noise or smell gas, evacuate the area immediately. Stay away from damaged buildings. If there is a safe haven, go to an open space away from damaged buildings, trees, and power lines, and take whatever supplies you can. Aftershocks from this earthquake are expected within the next few hours. Prepare for aftershocks. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use only. The earthquake may have damaged or destroyed the phone lines, and the 911 telephone system may be down, resulting in people not getting emergency assistance. Please stay tuned to this station for more information on this dangerous situation. This is a Fox News special report. Good morning from the Fox News headquarters here in New York City. My name is Joanna Hall. We currently have some breaking news coming out of the city of Los Angeles. A gigantic earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 9.8 on the Richter scale has struck the city of Los Angeles, with the epicenter of the quake right in the downtown area of the city. Apocalyptic devastation has been reported in the entire Los Angeles metropolitan area and thousands are feared dead, injured, or missing. This is the largest earthquake ever recorded, beating out the 1960 Valdivia earthquake in Chile. In addition, there have been reports of the surface ground in the city of Los Angeles is crumbling and collapsing into the Earth's crust. This is most likely due to a massive rupture of the San Andreas fault line. Fires have also been reported in the Los Angeles metropolitan area, causing even more destruction and casualties. This earthquake has been felt throughout most of the western United States, with shaking being reported as far east as Las Vegas, Nevada, as far north as Eugene, Oregon, and as far south as the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. We have a reporter live in the city of San Bernardino. How are things going? I am live in the city of San Bernardino, and things are not particularly as bad as they are in L.A. The city of San Bernardino has suffered catastrophic damage from the quake and there are likely hundreds, if not thousands, of casualties. But this is nothing compared to the destruction in Los Angeles. The entire city has been apocalyptically obliterated, with nothing left standing. I am also receiving word that the Hollywood sign has completely collapsed. Several prominent skyscrapers have collapsed as well, including the Wilshire Grand Tower and the U.S. Bank Tower. Due to the massive rupture of the San Andreas Fault Line, the ground in the city is collapsing into the Earth's crust. Governor Gavin Newsom has declared a state of emergency and is sending in the California National Guard to the area to assist in cleaning up the city as well as surrounding areas. To add to this, several fires have been reported in the Los Angeles metropolitan area, including cities such as Anaheim, Long Beach, Riverside, Pasadena, Santa Ana, and Huntington Beach, causing even more destruction and casualties. Most of these fires are caused by ruptured gas lines. Firefighters have been called in throughout these areas in attempt to extinguish these fires. The United States Geological Survey has also stated that there is a considerable tsunami threat for the United States' west coast, as considerable shaking and displacement of water has been reported out in the Pacific Ocean. Back over to you, Joe. Thank you for the information. We hope to provide you with more information whenever it becomes available. This is Joanna Hall from Fox News, with a special report.
event type is tsunami. For the entire coast of British Columbia, including the city of Vancouver as well as Vancouver Island, at approximately 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, a massive underwater earthquake with a magnitude of 9.7 on the Richter scale has struck approximately 800 kilometers off the coast of Long Beach, California, United States. This has caused a massive displacement of water in the Pacific Ocean, and has generated a massive mega tsunami that is heading towards the coast of British Columbia, as well as the United States West Coast and the state of Hawaii. This tsunami is capable of causing apocalyptic devastation to the coast, and will make impact within the next one to two hours. The height of the tsunami is believed to be around 230 meters tall, and is moving at a speed of 233 kilometers per hour. Everything within a 40 kilometer radius of the coast will be flooded, and all areas on the coast will be wiped off the face of the earth and will be sunk into the Pacific Ocean. Anyone on the coast is in extreme danger, no matter what direction the coast is facing. Tsunamis are large waves that are not surfable. All residents within a 40 kilometer radius of the coastline are strongly advised to evacuate the area and move further inland immediately. When you evacuate, make sure you are more than 40 kilometers away from the coastline. When you evacuate, take important supplies with you, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a cell phone, phone chargers, a first aid kit and a battery-powered radio to last you for the duration of this emergency. Shelters have been set up in the following cities, Calgary, Edmonton, Saskatoon, Regina, and Winnipeg. The Canadian Army has been called in to aid in the evacuation effort. Do not delay. This is a mass casualty situation. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. There is not much time to evacuate. If you remain in the warned area, you will face certain death from the tsunami. Please stay tuned for more information on this dangerous situation. following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. An enormous mega tsunami with a height of 750 feet has struck the west coast of the United States, as well as the states of Alaska, Hawaii, and British Columbia and Canada. It has been confirmed that cities near the coastline have been wiped off the face of the earth and sunk into the Pacific Ocean, while areas up to 25 miles inland have suffered extensive damage and massive flooding. Even though about 95% of the population in the warned area evacuated before the tsunami impacted, thousands of injuries, fatalities, homeless, and people missing have been reported. All residents that have evacuated may not return to their homes, as there is literally no home to return to, and crews have to complete surveys on the damage cost and clean up the debris. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on the situation. This is an NBC News special report. This is NBC News special report. I am your host Julia Gray, live in the NBC News headquarters here in New York City. A massive underwater earthquake with a magnitude of 9.7 has struck 500 miles off the coast of Long Beach, California. This has resulted in a gigantic mega tsunami with a height of 750 feet that slammed into the west coast of the United States, including Alaska, Hawaii, and British Columbia in Canada. Unfortunately, many cities near the coast have been sunk into the Pacific Ocean, while areas up to 25 miles inland have suffered extensive damage and massive flooding. 
even though about 95% of the population in the warned area evacuated before the tsunami made impact, hundreds of people who didn't evacuate are either dead, injured, homeless, or missing. Live in the NBC News Chopper is my correspondent, Stephen. Stephen, how are things looking out there? I am currently flying over the city of Los Angeles, and the city is completely gone. The city was completely devastated by the huge earthquake that struck the city a few hours ago, and now pretty much of the entire city of Los Angeles as well as surrounding areas have been sunk into the Pacific Ocean. Other coastal cities such as San Francisco, San Jose, San Diego, and others are completely gone as well. Major cities such as Portland, Eugene, Seattle, Tacoma, Everett, and Olympia have suffered extensive damage from the tsunami, and thousands are feared dead, injured, or missing. In addition, the city of Vancouver in British Columbia has also suffered massive damage from the tsunami, and hundreds of casualties, homeless, and people missing have been reported. Most of Vancouver Island has been wiped off of the map as well and sunk into the Pacific Ocean. Back over to you, Julia. Wow. That is just some sad stuff out there. We here at NBC News would like to send our thoughts and prayers to the victims and their families who were affected by this disaster. This is Julia Gray, from NBC News, with a special report. We now return to regular programming. historic and unprecedented blizzard to strike the northeastern United States. This is a particularly dangerous situation. The National Weather Service has issued a blizzard warning for the entire northeastern United States, effective until 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday. This warning includes the following states, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. Hazard extremely heavy, blowing snow with near-hurricane force winds. Accumulations, snow accumulations of 24 to 36 inches, with isolated areas of up to 48 inches possible in areas near the Appalachian Mountains. Winds, sustained easterly winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour with isolated gusts of 75 miles per hour near coastal areas. Temperatures, high temperatures today will be in the upper single digits to low teens while low temperatures will be near or below zero. This will create impossible driving conditions due to the blowing snow and poor visibility. Visibility is expected to be around one-eighth of a mile to near zero. Do not travel. I repeat, do not travel. The snow accumulations will be too deep to drive your vehicle, and you will be stranded. Many deaths in blizzards occur when people leave stranded vehicles asking for help. A blizzard warning means severe and potentially life-threatening winter weather conditions are expected. The combination of strong winds as well as falling and blowing snow will result in dangerously low visibility and whiteout conditions. Please monitor local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. This is WNBC News, serving the New York City area. I am your host Ashley Harrison. Today we have some breaking news to report. A historic and unprecedented blizzard is set to impact the entire northeastern United States within the next few hours. According to the National Weather Service, forecasts are calling for 24 to 36 inches of snow with isolated areas of 48 inches possible in areas near the Appalachian Mountains, sustained winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour with isolated gusts of 75 miles per hour in coastal areas, and visibility expected to be around one-eighth of a mile to near zero. High temperatures are expected to be in the upper single digits to low teens while low temperatures are expected to be or below zero. Residents are being advised to not travel at all.
as the conditions will be too dangerous to drive. We have a reporter live in New York City. What is going on? I am live in New York City, where it looks like a ghost town right now. Looks like people are getting prepared for this unprecedented blizzard that is going to strive the northeastern U.S. very soon. Whiteout conditions are almost certain due to the combination of heavy and blowing snow as well as strong winds and poor visibility. Traveling is not advised at this time as traveling will be too dangerous in these conditions and you will be stranded and emergency services will have an extremely difficult time in finding you. Meteorologists believe that the cause of this blizzard is a massive nor'easter, which is a synoptic-scale extratropical cyclone in the western North Atlantic Ocean. These storms are capable of producing heavy rain or snow, and can cause severe coastal flooding, coastal erosions, hurricane-force winds, and blizzard conditions. Back over to you, Ashley. Thank you for the information. Please stay safe out there, and we hope to provide you with more on this historic blizzard whenever it becomes available. This is Ashley Harrison, from WNBC News. We now go back to regular programming. Event type is heavy snowfall. For the entire provinces of Quebec, Ontario, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia, Environment Canada has issued a heavy snowfall warning, which is in effect until 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday. A massive nor'easter is set to impact the northeastern United States and Canada and is set to bring blizzard conditions to the area. Snow accumulations are expected to be around 61 to 91 centimeters, with isolated areas of up to 122 centimeters possible. Winds, sustained winds of 64 to 80 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 120 kilometers per hour possible near coastal areas. These conditions combined with near-zero visibility will cause whiteout conditions to occur. Do not travel, as the conditions will be too dangerous to do so, and you will be stranded in your vehicle. A heavy snowfall warning means that heavy snowfall is imminent or occurring and could cause hazardous driving conditions. Please monitor Environment Canada for more information on this dangerous situation. Le type d'événement est de forte chute de neige point pour l'ensemble des provinces du Québec, de l'Ontario, du Nouveau-Brunswick et de la Nouvelle-Écosse. Environnement Canada a émis un avertissement de forte chute de neige, qui est en vigueur jusqu'à 8 heures, heure normale de l'Est, dimanche. Un massif ni l'Est devrait avoir un impact sur le nord-est des États-Unis et le Canada et devrait apporter des conditions de blizzard dans la région. Point les accumulations de neige devraient être d'environ 61 à 91 cm avec des zones isolées allant jusqu'à 122 cm possible point vent. Vent soutenu de 64 à 80 km à l'heure avec des rafales allant jusqu'à 120 km à l'heure possible près des zones côtières. Point ces conditions, combinées à une visibilité proche de zéro, entraîneront des conditions de blanchiment. Point ne voyagez pas, car les conditions seront trop dangereuses pour le faire et vous serez coincé dans votre véhicule. Point un avertissement de forte chute de neige signifie que de fortes chutes de neige sont imminentes ou se produisent et pourraient causer des conditions de conduite dangereuses. Veuillez surveiller Environnement Canada pour obtenir de plus amples renseignements sur cette situation dangereuse.
following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Whiteout conditions have been reported on most, if not all roads in the northeastern United States due to the massive blizzard that struck the region yesterday. Most areas received 24 to 36 inches of snow, while areas near the Appalachian Mountains received upwards of 48 inches. The National Guard is unable to rescue people that are dealing with emergencies at this time due to the conditions. If you have an emergency, call 911 and try as best as possible to get help. All residents listening to this message are strongly advised to remain home, as snow plows will take a lot of time plowing off the roads. This will take a few weeks to do so. Tune to local media outlets for more information on this situation. Event type is civil emergency. For the provinces of Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. This message is transmitted at the request of the Canadian government. Whiteout conditions from the blizzard yesterday have been reported throughout these provinces. Many areas have received between 61 to 91 centimeters of snow with isolated areas of 122 centimeters being reported. The Canadian Armed Forces are struggling to rescue people from emergency situations due to the road conditions. If you have an emergency, call 911 and try your best to seek help. Residents are advised to remain at home. Do not travel. The conditions are too dangerous to do so. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this situation. Le type d'événement est urgence civile. Pour les provinces de l'Ontario, du Québec, de la Nouvelle-Écosse et du Nouveau-Brunswick. Ce message est transmis à la demande du gouvernement canadien. Les conditions de blanchissement causées par le blizzard d'hier ont été signalées dans toutes ces provinces. De nombreuses zones ont reçu entre 61 et 91 cm de neige avec des zones isolées de 5,22 cm signalées. Les forces armées canadiennes ont du mal à sauver les gens des situations d'urgence en raison de l'état des routes en cas d'urgence, appelez le 9 1 un effet de votre mieux pour demander de l'aide. Il est conseillé aux résidents de rester à la maison. Ne voyagez pas les conditions sont trop dangereuses pour le faire. Connectez-vous aux médias locaux pour plus d'informations sur cette situation. Unprecedented, historic flooding expected in the southeastern United States. The National Weather Service has issued an aerial flood warning for the entire southeastern United States, effective until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Monday. States included in this warning are, West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina and Florida. This is a particularly dangerous situation. At approximately 2.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar has detected several lines of thunderstorms which are producing extremely heavy rainfall across this region. 12 to 18 inches of rain will be expected, with isolated amounts of up to 24 inches possible. This will result in the overflow of many lakes, creeks, and rivers, which will cause massive flooding to occur. A flood warning means that flooding is imminent or occurring. Move to higher ground immediately. Residents living along creeks and streams should take immediate precautions to protect life and property. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area that is subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. If you encounter a closed or flooded road, turn around, don't drown. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation.
This is WSVN News. I am your host, Samantha Lawrence. We currently have some breaking news to report. The National Weather Service is currently tracking several lines of thunderstorms that are producing extremely heavy rainfall across the southeastern United States. 12 to 18 inches of rain is expected with isolated amounts of 24 inches possible. This will result in the overflow of many lakes, creeks, and rivers, which will cause massive flooding to occur. If you are living among a stream or a creek, take immediate precautions now to protect life and property. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area that is subject to flooding, or is under an evacuation order. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. If you encounter a closed or flooded road, turn around immediately. Remember, turn around, don't drown. We have a reporter living downtown Miami. How is the situation going? I am living downtown Miami, where it is currently raining cats and dogs over here. Not only is this happening here in Florida, but throughout the entire southeastern United States, including Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. Like you said, these storms are expected to dump around 12 to 18 inches of rain in this region, with isolated amounts of 24 inches possible. This will result in the overflow of many lakes, streams, creeks, and rivers, which will cause massive flooding to occur. Please, move to higher ground immediately. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Remember, if you see a flooded road, turn around, don't drown. Back over to you, Samantha. Thank you for the information. From my point of view, it looks pretty bad out there, but at least you were under an umbrella to protect yourself from getting wet. Guys. Please stay safe out there. This is Samantha Lawrence, from WSVN News. We now return to regular programming. following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Many cities across the southeastern United States are underwater due to several lines of thunderstorms that produced extremely heavy rainfall yesterday. Many areas have received between 12 to 18 inches of rainfall, with isolated amounts of 24 inches being reported. Those that evacuated due to the flooding must stay away from the area as many buildings have been completely destroyed. Due to several roads being completely submerged, the National Guard is unavailable to rescue people dealing with emergencies. If you are dealing with an emergency, call 911 and try your best to find help. It will take a few weeks for flood waters to recede, and when residents can return home, if they even have one. Please stay tuned for more information on this situation. Historic heat wave currently affecting the southwestern United States. The National Weather Service has issued an excessive heat warning for the entire southwestern United States, effective from 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 2 p.m. Central Standard Time until 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 10 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. This includes the following states, California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas. Temperatures, high temperatures today and tomorrow will be around 115 to 120 degrees in these areas, with isolated highs of 125 to 130 degrees possible near Death Valley National Park. Lows are only expected to be around the upper 80s and lower 90s in this region. These temperatures can cause heat-related illnesses and heat stroke to occur 
and possibly death if not treated. Children, the elderly, those working or spending time outside, not being hydrated properly, and those with without a source of air conditioning are the most vulnerable to these conditions. Take extra precautions when you work or spend time outside, or try to stay indoors as much as possible with the air conditioning turned on to the maximum level. When possible, reschedule strenuous activities to early morning or evening, as the temperatures will be somewhat more appropriate at those times. Make sure you know the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Do not leave any children or pets unattended in hot cars, as car interiors can reach dangerously high levels in minutes. Look before you lock. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing if possible, and drink plenty of water and other fluids to stay hydrated. An excessive heat warning means that dangerously high temperatures are expected for a prolonged period of time. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911. The National Weather Service has issued a red flag warning for the entire southwestern United States, effective from 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 2 p.m. Central Standard Time until 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, or 10 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. This includes the following states, California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas. Even though a historic heat wave is expected to impact the southwestern United States with average high temperatures expected to be around 115 to 120 degrees, low humidity and high winds are now expected in the forecast. Winds, sustained winds of 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts of up to 35 miles per hour are expected. Relative humidity, Relative humidity levels are forecasted to be around 15 to 20 percent Monday and Tuesday. These conditions are favorable for the development of wildfires. A red flag warning means that conditions that could spark wildfires are expected. A combination of high temperatures, low humidity, and high winds are the perfect conditions for wildfires to develop. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on this situation.
immediate evacuation is advised. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Several massive wildfires have broken out in several major cities across the southwestern United States. These cities include Las Vegas, Sacramento, Phoenix, Tucson, Salt Lake City, Flagstaff, Fresno, Albuquerque, Denver, Colorado Springs, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Tulsa, and Oklahoma City. Due to the extremely hot and dry conditions in these areas, these fires have the capability to spread into nearby cities within the next hour. The cause of these fires is likely the weather conditions that are occurring in the southwestern United States. Firefighters are being dispatched to these cities in order to extinguish these blazes. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to evacuate immediately. When you evacuate, gather essential supplies for your journey, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, and a battery powered or hand cranked radio to last you for the duration of this emergency. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own evacuation procedures and will act on them accordingly. Contraflow has been enacted on all highways in the warned area to make traffic move more freely and efficiently. Try to take one car per family, if possible. Shelters for evacuees will be set up in the following states, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, Missouri, Iowa, and Minnesota. Locations for these shelters may be found on FEMA.gov. Make sure you evacuate as far away from the warned area as possible. Only travel on marked evacuation routes set up by your local authorities. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. Do not delay. This is a mass casualty situation, and it is possible that these cities will be completely engulfed in flames. If you remain in the warned area, you will face certain death. Tune into local TV and radio stations for more information on this dangerous situation. This is CNN Breaking News. Good afternoon to all of our viewers in the United States and across the world. I am your host Maria Pickens, and we currently have some breaking news this afternoon. An extremely dangerous situation is currently taking place in the southwestern United States. What started as a historic heatwave impacting the region with temperatures of 115 to 120 degrees being reported, has turned into a massive outbreak of wildfires currently striking many major cities across the southwestern United States. Cities reporting wildfires include, Las Vegas, Sacramento, Phoenix, Tucson, Salt Lake City, Flagstaff, Fresno, Albuquerque, Denver, Colorado Springs, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Tulsa, and Oklahoma City. Due to the hot and dry conditions, these fires have the capability to spread into more areas within the next hour. Firefighters are currently being dispatched to these cities in order to extinguish these blazes. An immediate evacuation order has been issued for all residents living in these cities as well as nearby areas. Shelters for evacuees have been set up in the following states, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, Missouri, Iowa, and Minnesota. Locations for these shelters can be found on FEMA.gov. It is possible that these cities will be engulfed in flames, and if you are living in the previously mentioned cities, evacuate now. Do not delay. If you remain in areas impacted by wildfires, you will face certain death. We have a reporter live in the city of Las Vegas. How is the situation going? I am live in the Las Vegas Strip, and it is absolutely chaos out here. People are frantically trying to evacuate the city as this wildfire is very close to impacting the Strip. I can even see it with my own eyes. And also, it is so hot out here, it is crazy. Death Valley National Park is even reporting temperatures of 125 to 130 degrees. 
I seriously need a nice drink of water and some shade and air conditioning. This situation is not only happening here in Vegas, but throughout the entire southwestern United States. This is an extremely dangerous situation and needs to be taken seriously. If you are in Las Vegas right now, evacuate immediately. There is not much time to evacuate. Grab the essential supplies you need for your journey and get out of the city as quickly as possible. Remaining in the city will result in certain death. Vegas, along with many southwestern cities, could be engulfed in flames due to the perfect weather conditions for catastrophic wildfires to develop. Oh my god, I see the fire quickly approaching. I need to get out of here now. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Many cities across the southwestern United States have been completely engulfed in flames by wildfires that impacted yesterday. These cities include Las Vegas, Sacramento, Phoenix, Tucson, Salt Lake City, Flagstaff, Fresno, Albuquerque, Denver, Colorado Springs, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Tulsa, and Oklahoma City. The hot and dry weather conditions were perfect in allowing these fires to spread through vast areas. There are no buildings, vehicles, animals, people, plants, and trees left in these cities. All there is, is massive piles of debris lying all around. Residents that evacuated may not return home at this time, as there is literally no home to return to. It may take decades to restore these cities back to former glory, and clean-up crews are being dispatched to sweep all the debris from these fires. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on the situation. Service and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. 
at approximately 2.58 p.m. Central Standard Time or 3.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, National Weather Service meteorologists as well as hundreds of storm spotters have reported several massive and unprecedented tornadoes on the ground in several major cities across the Midwestern United States. These cities include Indianapolis, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Milwaukee, Detroit, Des Moines, Wichita, Minneapolis, Bismarck, Sioux Falls, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, and Omaha. This is a mass casualty situation. Absolute and complete annihilation of absolutely everything is expected in these cities as well as surrounding areas, with areas possibly being completely wiped off of the map. Emergency crews in these cities should prepare for an unbelievable amount of life-threatening injuries and fatalities and for an extreme search, rescue, and recovery effort. These cities have been placed under extreme tornado emergencies by their respective National Weather Service forecast offices. It has been reported that velocities in these tornadoes are exceeding a jaw-dropping 395 miles per hour, much faster than any other tornado ever recorded, and are approximately 4 miles wide. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter now. You will not stand a chance of surviving these tornadoes if you are not in an underground shelter. Total and complete annihilation of these cities is certain, and anything caught in the path by these tornadoes will be completely swept away for miles. Many land features will be completely decimated, with entire roads being ripped off the ground and catapulted into the air. Roadways will be completely impassable, as debris will block or obstruct them completely. These cities will be completely unrecognizable, with destruction similar if a nuclear bomb went off, or they were never built in the first place. Power outages will be certain, and will likely last for months, or even years. Mobile homes, high-rise buildings, and above-ground shelters will be completely annihilated upon impact, and will become death traps. Underground shelters may not even be safe during these tornadoes, as they could suffer significant damage and leaving people trapped inside said shelters. Unbelievable ground scouring of up to 10 to 15 feet is expected with these tornadoes. These tornadoes, due to their gargantuan size, may be hard to see, as they may be mistaken for hail or heavy rain, or dark clouds approaching in the distance. Do not wait to see or hear these tornadoes, as it will be too late. Do not delay, seek an underground shelter now. This is a life or death situation. If you do not seek an underground shelter, you will certainly face death. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on this catastrophic situation. This is CBS News here in New York City. And we currently have some breaking news. A massive and historic tornado outbreak is currently taking place across many major cities in the Midwestern United States. These cities include Indianapolis, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Milwaukee, Detroit, Des Moines, Wichita, Minneapolis, Bismarck, Sioux Falls, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, and Omaha. It has been reported by National Weather Service meteorologists and hundreds of storm spotters that velocities in these tornadoes are at a whopping 395 miles per hour, and are an astonishing 4 miles wide. These cities have been placed under extreme tornado emergencies by their respective National Weather Service forecast offices, a term which has never been used before. This implies that a tornado of unprecedented proportions is anticipated to strike a major population center. Apocalyptic obliteration is expected in these cities, and they will be completely unrecognizable after these tornadoes have made impact, with meteorologists going as far as comparing the anticipated destruction to the aftermath of a nuclear bomb detonation, or of these cities were never built in the first place. 
Anyone living in the cities previously mentioned needs to seek an underground shelter now. This is a life or death situation. You will not stand a chance of surviving these tornadoes if you are not in an underground shelter. Power outages will be certain, and power could be out in these cities for months or even years. Underground shelters may not even be safe during these tornadoes, as they could suffer significant damage and leaving people trapped inside. We have a reporter live in Kansas City. How is the situation going? I am live in Kansas City, and it looks like an absolute nightmare out here. It is so dark out here, the clouds are literally almost black. Tornado sirens are going off all over the city as a massive tornado is currently heading towards Kansas City. This is not the only tornado we are dealing with. Other monster tornadoes are currently striking many other major Midwestern cities. Although this isn't confirmed, it is almost certain that these tornadoes are at land EF5 strength on the enhanced Fujita scale. Total and complete obliteration is almost certain with these tornadoes. The following is to be expected. Anything caught in the path of these tornadoes will be completely swept away for miles. Many land features will be completely decimated, with entire roads being ripped off the ground and catapulted into the air. Roadways will be completely impassable, as debris will block or obstruct them completely. Unbelievable ground scouring of up to 10 to 15 feet is expected with these tornadoes. This tornado may be hard to see due to its gargantuan size as it may be mistaken for hail or heavy rain, or dark clouds approaching in the distance. Mobile homes, high-rise buildings, and above-ground shelters will be completely annihilated upon impact and will become death traps. Emergency crews in these cities are currently preparing for an unbelievable amount of life-threatening injuries and fatalities and for an extreme search, rescue, and recovery effort. Do not wait to see or hear these tornadoes, as it will be too late. You will almost certainly face death if you do not seek an underground shelter. Oh my god, I literally see the tornado approaching straight from my location. Holy crap, this thing is massive. I need to get out of here now. following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Several massive and unprecedented tornadoes have struck the following cities yesterday, Indianapolis, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Milwaukee, Detroit, Des Moines, Wichita, Minneapolis, Bismarck, Sioux Falls, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, and Omaha. The damage report from all of these cities is unbelievable and terrifying, to say the least. Apocalyptic obliteration has been reported in all of these cities. All homes and businesses in these areas have been completely swept away without a trace, even with no debris left nearby. These buildings were mangled beyond recognition. Entire neighborhoods have been completely swept away and were shredded, even slabs flying through the air have been reported. Experts have compared the devastation to if a nuclear bomb went off in these cities, or were never built or existed in the first place. The downtown areas in these cities have been reduced to nothing, without any trace of anything left. Everything has been removed, including trees, power lines, power poles, and street lights, which were tossed around like toys. Extreme pavement and ground scouring have also been reported which has caused many underground shelters to be utterly destroyed, leaving several residents trapped inside these shelters. It is believed that there can be hundreds of thousands, even millions of casualties in these cities. Due to the unbelievable destruction in these cities, all residents impacted by these tornadoes should stay home, if you even have one. If your home has been damaged or destroyed, go to shelters that are marked by red banners across the building. The mayors of each of these cities have declared a state of emergency due to this disaster. The National Weather Service has classified these tornadoes as high-end EF5s on the enhanced Fujita scale, due to cities being completely wiped off of the map. 
Please stay tuned to the station for more information on the situation. Civil danger warning for the entire Florida Peninsula. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. A massive and unprecedented hurricane has formed approximately 200 miles off the Florida Atlantic coast and is expected to make landfall in the city of Miami, Florida within the next one to two hours. This hurricane, named Hurricane Dillon, is an unprecedented and historic Category 5 hurricane on the Saphir-Simpson scale, with maximum sustained winds of up to 225 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 250 miles per hour, which is the fastest sustained winds in a tropical cyclone that has ever existed. Minimal central pressure last measured by Hurricane Hunter's aircraft was 867 millibars, or 25.6 inches, which also makes it the most intense tropical cyclone on record. Very slight weakening is expected before the storm makes landfall, but will still impact the Florida Peninsula as an extremely strong Category 5 hurricane. Dillon is moving west at 40 miles per hour, and will remain in this motion for the next several hours. A hurricane warning has been issued for the entire Florida Peninsula. Hurricane force winds are extending out 215 miles from the center, while tropical storm force winds are extending out 400 miles. The following impacts are expected, the Florida Peninsula will be left uninhabitable for several months, or even years. Almost all well-constructed homes will be obliterated, with no remains of the structures left standing. Larger buildings such as skyscrapers and apartment complexes will sway violently until the point of complete collapse. All windows will be blown out. Large chunks of airborne debris will spread out for several miles. Large objects such as vehicles and household appliances will be thrown around by the winds and will be completely destroyed. High-profile vehicles will almost certainly be overturned. People and animals who venture outdoors during the onset of hurricane force winds will be killed instantly by flying debris. Power poles will be blown around, causing power outages that will last for an indefinite period of time. All trees will be ripped from the ground. Storm surge flooding is expected with coastal structures being completely decimated. Major beach erosion is likely due to extreme coastal flooding. People that live in the area will almost certainly not recognize their area after the storm makes impact. A mandatory evacuation order has been issued for the entire Florida Peninsula. Follow specific evacuation routes set up by your local authorities. This is a mass casualty situation. You will face certain death if you do not evacuate. Stay off the telephone lines unless you have an emergency. Evacuate now. I repeat. Evacuate now. Do not delay. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. This is CBS 4 News Miami and we currently have some breaking news to report. A massive Category 5 hurricane, named Hurricane Dillon, has formed approximately 200 miles off of the Florida Atlantic coast and will make landfall in the city of Miami within the next one to two hours. A hurricane warning and an immediate evacuation order have been issued for the entire Florida peninsula. Hurricane Dillon is one monster of a hurricane with it being a Category 5 on the Saphir Simpson scale with winds of up to 225 miles per hour, with gusts of up to 250 miles per hour, 
which is the fastest sustained winds in a tropical cyclone that has ever existed. It has a pressure of 867 millibars, or 25.6 inches, which also makes it the most intense tropical cyclone on record. Hurricane force winds are extending out 215 miles from the center, while tropical storm force winds are extending out 400 miles. This is a mass casualty situation and complete and utter devastation is expected, with cities being unrecognizable after the storm makes impact. We have a reporter live in downtown Miami. How is the situation going? I am live in downtown Miami, and it is absolutely chaos. People are frantically trying to get out of the city as Hurricane Dylan is only one to two hours from making landfall. This hurricane literally formed out of nowhere, and is not giving people much time to get out of the city. This is one monster of a storm, folks. It is likely that this storm will cause billions of dollars in damage. The civil danger warning that was just issued for the Florida Peninsula had the scariest wording I have ever heard in an emergency alert in my life. This is no joke. This might be the costliest and deadliest hurricane on record. This city is going to be a complete ghost town once the storm makes landfall, and the entire Florida Peninsula will be completely and utterly devastated due to Dylan's sheer strength and power. It will take decades for Florida to recover from this storm. I have to go. I am not risking my life to ride out this storm. One week left until we're all going to fucking die. You see all of these natural disasters that have been happening over the last few days? Mother Nature is for sure showing no mercy on our final days on Earth. The clock is ticking. Only seven days until our demise. Yellowstone and the Long Valley calderas are gonna erupt soon, and Nibiru, which is now a real planet, is gonna hit Earth. Prepare now, motherfuckers. There is nothing that we can do to escape our inevitable fate. following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Governor Ron DeSantis, as well as President Joe Biden, have declared a state of emergency for the entire Florida Peninsula. Apocalyptic annihilation as a result of Hurricane Dylan has been reported in the region. Cities that have been destroyed include, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Daytona Beach, Orlando, West Palm Beach, Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater, Fort Myers, and Naples. Cities such as Jacksonville, Gainesville, and St. Augustine have suffered extensive damage as well. According to several reports, there are no buildings, vehicles, trees, and people left. All there is, are huge chunks of debris laying around. All power grids have been cut off, and the entire area will be without power for an indefinite period of time. The water supply has also been interrupted, and the fluid waters have been toxic in some areas. About 95% of the population evacuated before the storm made landfall. There is an almost guarantee that those who have not evacuated are either dead, homeless, or missing. Do not return home. I repeat, do not return home. There is literally no home to return to, as it has likely been destroyed from the hurricane. Please stay tuned for more information on the situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. Several earthquakes have been detected on the following volcanoes, 
Mount St. Helens, Mount Baker, Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, and Mount Chasta. These earthquakes have been reported at magnitude 6.7, 6.5, 6.3, 6.2, and 5.9 on the Richter scale respectively. In addition, two massive earthquakes have been reported at the Yellowstone and Long Valley calderas. These quakes have been measured at magnitudes 8.7 and 8.5 on the Richter scale respectively. This is the result of increasing seismic activity on the Cascadia subduction zone and the two supervolcanic calderas. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to follow these instructions, turn off all gas inside your home to prevent fires, as fires are the most common hazard after an earthquake. If an earthquake strikes when you're inside, remember to drop, cover, and hold on. Stay inside until the shaking stops. If you hear a hissing noise or smell gas, evacuate the building immediately but be aware of debris nearby. If you are outside, find a clear spot and drop to the ground, and be sure to find a place with no buildings, trees, or power lines nearby. If in a vehicle, wait until the shaking stops. If a power line falls onto your vehicle, do not exit your vehicle, but call for assistance instead. After the earthquake, stay away from your home or business until authorities have declared that it is safe to return. If you spot a fire, put it out immediately. It is unknown if these could be signs of these volcanoes erupting. But an eruption of one or more of these volcanoes cannot be ruled out at this time. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on this developing situation. is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. A mandatory evacuation order has been issued for all residents within a 35-mile radius of the following volcanoes, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Baker, Mount Hood, and Mount Shasta. Several earthquakes have been reported on these volcanoes, as well as rising volcanic gases and smoke. The United States Geological Survey has stated that all of these volcanoes will erupt within the next four to five hours. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to evacuate immediately. While evacuating, make sure to take essential supplies, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered or hand-crank radio with extra batteries to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own evacuation procedures and will act on them accordingly. Evacuate as far away from these volcanoes as possible. When you evacuate, tie a white towel or cloth to your mailbox or door to signal authorities you have obeyed the evacuation order. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. Please stay tuned to the station for more information on this developing situation.
following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. At approximately 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, it has been confirmed that Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Baker, Mount Hood, and Mount Chasta have all violently erupted simultaneously. In addition, the immediate evacuation for all residents within a 35-mile radius of these volcanoes is still in effect. If you haven't evacuated already, do so now. Ash has already been reported to be as high as 10 kilometers into the atmosphere, and ashfall is expected to spread in areas near these volcanoes within the next 30 minutes. If you cannot evacuate, seek shelter in an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows. Wear a breathing mask in order to protect yourself from ash exposure. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems. Close all fireplace dampers. And seal all cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels. Take food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries for your stay in your shelter. If you want to evacuate, evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. Do not delay. If you do not evacuate, you will be putting your life in extreme danger. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. I'm on my own, broken alone I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Activity has been reported under these calders. 
magma has been building up in the surface, and it is likely that the Yellowstone and Long Valley supervolcanoes will erupt within the next 24 to 36 hours. An eruption of this magnitude will likely destroy the entire western United States, and will be covered in massive amounts of ash. Areas within a 100-mile radius of these calderas will likely be completely obliterated, and will be uninhabitable and unrecognizable for years, even decades. It is likely that these eruptions will be of EI-8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation, and should be taken very seriously. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to evacuate immediately. This includes the following states, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Colorado, Utah, Western South Dakota, Southwestern North Dakota, Nevada, and Arizona. When you are evacuating, tie a white collar cloth or towel to your door or mailbox to show authorities that you safely left the area. Do not use the towel if you need assistance. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup point. Gather all of the people in your home, and grab important supplies, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, a fully charged cell phone phone chargers, toiletries, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. Make sure you turn off all heating and air conditioning systems, close and lock all windows and doors, shut off all gas, and seal up all cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels before you leave your house. Try to take one car per family, if possible. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. It is highly recommended that you evacuate to the eastern United States, as it will likely receive the least amount of ash fall from these eruptions. Most importantly, stay calm, and do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you do not evacuate, you are putting your life in extreme danger. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. This is an NBC News special report. This is an NBC News special report. I am your host Julia Gray, live in the NBC News headquarters in New York City. We currently have some breaking news to report. The United States Geological Survey has released a statement about 20 minutes ago that severe volcanic activity has been reported at the Yellowstone Caldera in Wyoming and the Long Valley Caldera in Wyoming. They have also made a grim statement that both of these supervolcanoes will erupt within the next 24 to 36 hours. This is due to two massive earthquakes with magnitudes of 8.7 and 8.5 on the Richter scale respectively, striking both calderas. This is coming right after several earthquakes struck five active volcanoes in the Cascade Mountains, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, Mount Baker, and Mount Shasta. As a result of these earthquakes, all of these volcanoes violently erupted simultaneously, causing nearby areas to suffer massive devastation and loss of life. Areas near these volcanoes will be uninhabitable for months, even years. On to the current situation. An immediate evacuation order has been issued for all residents within a 500-mile radius of the Yellowstone and Long Valley calderas. Areas in this order include Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Colorado, Utah, Western South Dakota, Southwestern North Dakota, Nevada, and Arizona. Areas within a 100-mile radius of both supervolcanoes will be completely obliterated with massive amounts of ashfall and will be uninhabitable for years. This is an unprecedented time in history as a supervolcanic eruption has never happened in the civilized existence of humans. Yellowstone hasn't erupted in 640,000 years, while Long Valley hasn't erupted in 760,000 years. If you have received the immediate evacuation message, please evacuate immediately. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation, and action needs to be taken now. If you do not evacuate, 
you will be putting your life in extreme danger. These eruptions have the potential to blanket the entire United States and parts of Canada in ash, and even causing a volcanic winter, crop failures, and famine worldwide. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is strongly recommending those with asthma or other respiratory conditions to wear a gas mask to prevent ash exposure, as those individuals have a higher risk of death due to ash inhalation. This is Julia Gray, from NBC News, with a special report. We now return to your regularly scheduled programming. This is an emergency action notification, requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States, or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a national emergency. Important details will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WBZ4. We will continue to serve the Boston area. If you are not in this local area, tune now into stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Boston area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our regular programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is WBZ4. We will continue furnishing news, official information, and instructions for the Boston area. If you are not in the Boston area, you should tune into stations providing news and information for your area. It is important that you listen carefully to announcements from the station in your local area. Stand by. The President of the United States, or his designated representative will be speaking shortly. has been given authorization for release at the request of myself, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the United States Geological Survey, and the United States Government, effective as of 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. I regret to inform the citizens of the United States that at approximately 2.58 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, the Yellowstone Caldero located in Wyoming, as well as the Long Valley Caldero located in California, have suffered catastrophic eruptions, both of them occurring simultaneously. This is the result of two massive earthquakes striking these super volcanoes, with magnitudes of 8.7 and 8.5 on the Richter scale respectively. These eruptions have sent two massive ash clouds more than 20 kilometers into the atmosphere, an extremely loud bang has been heard throughout most of the United States, 
and massive amounts of ash, magma, and pyroclastic flows have been released into the atmosphere. These eruptions have been confirmed to be ABEI-8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, the maximum level used to measure the explosiveness of volcanic eruptions. This is classified as a super-colossal eruption and it is likely that these eruptions will result in a global volcanic winter, meaning that temperatures worldwide will drop by 1 degree Celsius, and will also result in global crop failures and famine. It is expected that ashfall will spread throughout the entire continental United States and parts of Canada within the next 12 to 24 hours. It is with a heavy heart that I say this, but areas within a 100 mile radius of these super volcanoes have been apocalyptically devastated, and will likely be uninhabitable for years, even decades to come. Those who have not evacuated from areas near the calderas have died due to lung failure from extreme ash exposure. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation for the entire United States, and should be taken very seriously. All Americans, no matter where you live, are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter immediately. You are advised to do the following instructions, find a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Make sure the room has as few doors and windows as possible. Close and lock all windows and doors from the inside. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems. Close all fireplace dampers and vents. And seal all cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels. Gather essential supplies for your shelter, such as non-perishable food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a fully charged cell phone, phone chargers, toiletries, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. It is likely that ashfall will be in our country for many years, even decades to come. If you have respiratory conditions such as asthma or other lung-related diseases, wear a gas or face mask to prevent ash exposure, as you are more likely to die from inhaling the volcanic ash. Do not leave your shelter for any reason, as you will be putting your life in extreme danger. This is clearly an unprecedented time in our nation's history, as we have never seen a super volcanic eruption in our civilized existence. The world hasn't had a super volcanic eruption for 26,500 years. Even though America is in an unprecedented crisis with several natural disasters that have struck our nation over the last several days, and our demise is inevitable in four days, we must come together as one nation, under God. Even in our final days on Earth, do everything that makes you comfortable and happy. Spend plenty of time with your family and friends. Ask for forgiveness. Try not to tell young children about this event, and ensure their well-being during these dark times. Most importantly, stay calm, and do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. Thank you for listening to this message, and as always, God bless America. Event type is volcano for the entire country of Canada. This message is transmitted at the request of the Government of Canada. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. A national state of emergency has been declared for the entire country of Canada. At approximately 2.58 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, two supervolcanoes in the United States have experienced catastrophic eruptions. These include the Yellowstone Caldera located in Wyoming, and the Long Valley Caldera located in California. This is the result of two massive earthquakes that have struck these supervolcanoes two days ago, with magnitudes of 8.7 and 8.5 on the Richter scale respectively. 
These eruptions have set massive ash clouds of up to 20 kilometers into the atmosphere, and it is expected that ash will spread throughout most of Canada within the next 24 to 36 hours. These eruptions will likely cause a global volcanic winter, in which temperatures worldwide will drop by 1 degree Celsius, and will also cause global crop failures and famine, and action needs to be taken immediately for the safety of the public. All residents of Canada are strongly advised to seek an underground shelter now. Close and lock all windows and doors. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems. Close all fireplace dampers and seal all cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels. Gather important supplies for your shelter, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered radio with extra batteries to last you and your family for the duration of this emergency. Do not go outside for any reason, as you will be putting your life in extreme danger. If you have asthma or other respiratory conditions, please wear a gas mask as these people are more susceptible to ash exposure, and are at a greater risk of death. Areas that will be receiving the highest amounts of ash include southeastern British Columbia, southern Alberta, southern Saskatchewan, and southwestern Manitoba. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is expected to speak to the nation shortly. Tune into local media outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. This is CNN Breaking News. Good evening to all of our viewers across the United States and across the world. I am your host James Dunn. I don't think it's right to say good evening right now, as we have some breaking news that will be very difficult to comprehend. Approximately five minutes ago, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, along with many space agencies around the world, have discovered the existence of a planet known as Planet X, or Nibiru, out in the solar system. Why this is breaking news will absolutely send chills down your spine. Apparently, this new planet has been knocked out of its orbit due to an unknown cause, and is heading on a direct collision course with Earth. It is expected to make impact in an hour and a half, at exactly midnight Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. December 21, 2022. This planet is approximately four times the size of Earth. NASA has already released a statement that there is nothing that can be done to prevent this planet from colliding with Earth and ending all life as we know it. Nibiru is too large to deflect away from the Earth, and there is no way that using nuclear missiles will work in destroying the planet. This planet is set to make impact in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. When this planet impacts, the following is to be expected, an extremely loud bang will be heard across the planet, followed by a very bright flash, as well as violent shaking. A large fire will rage across the world in all directions, destroying everything in its path. 
the sun will be blocked entirely for about 50 to 100 years by the following natural disasters, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and a nuclear winter following the blast. The Earth will be pushed out of its orbit, and Kessler's syndrome will take place. Since there is nothing that we can do to prevent our inevitable demise, all we should do is just brace for impact. It has been a pleasure for bringing news to the United States and across the world for the last 42 years. But unfortunately, due to the impending impact of Nibiru, this will be our final broadcast here on CNN. We have had a great existence for over 4 billion years, but unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to our beautiful planet. I hope that we meet again in the afterlife. It has been a pleasure of being a news anchor here on CNN for the last 17 years. We will now sign off for the final time ever, to brace for doomsday as we know it. This is James Dunn, signing off.
the sun will be blocked entirely for about 50 to 100 years by the following natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and a nuclear winter following the blast. The Earth will be pushed out of its orbit, and Kessler's syndrome will take place after the impact occurs. I'm very sorry to say this, but humanity will not survive this cataclysmic event. All us Americans can do is brace for impact. There is nothing that can be done to prevent this planet from impacting Earth, as it is too large to be deflected away from the Earth, or destroying it by using nuclear missiles. I am advising all Americans to do the following instructions, gather with your loved ones, such as friends and family, and prepare for your final hour of life on Earth. There is no place to evacuate or seek shelter. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode if you want to. Do not tell younger children about this event, and ensure their well-being during these dark times. I have selected a verse of the Bible to be read on the air, 2 Peter 3, 3 to 5. Know this first of all, that in the last days mockers will come with their mocking, following after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all continues just as it was from the beginning of creation. For when they maintain this, it escapes their notice that by the word of God the heavens existed long ago and the earth was formed out of water and by water. It has been an honor serving as your president, and thanks to all of you, the great citizens of the United States of America, for being a part of the American dream. I hope that we all get to see each other in the afterlife. We will now conclude the final activation of the emergency alert system with one last playing of the national anthem. This broadcast will cease transmission at the conclusion of this alert, and all TV and communication systems will be disconnected for good. May God be with you all, and for one last time, God bless America. Still there, oh, say.
Event type is national emergency. For all of Canada, this message is transmitted at the request of the Canadian government and the Canadian Space Agency. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. A global state of emergency has been declared for the entire planet of Earth. At approximately 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Canadian Space Agency, as well as many space agencies around the world have discovered the existence of a new planet, known as Planet X, or Nibiru. Apparently, this planet has been knocked out of its orbit due to an unknown cause, and is heading on a direct collision course with Earth. This planet is set to make impact within the next hour, and will land in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This planet is approximately four times the size of Earth. Due to Nibiru's enormous size, the impact will cause the extinction of all life on Earth as we know it. When Nibiru impacts, expect the following to occur. An extremely loud bang will be heard across the planet, followed by a very bright flash, as well as violent shaking. A large fire will rage across the world in all directions, destroying everything in its path. The sun will be blocked entirely for about 50 to 100 years by the following natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and a nuclear winter following the blast. The Earth will be pushed out of its orbit, and Kessler's syndrome will take place after the impact occurs. There is nothing that can be done to prevent this planet from impacting Earth, as it is too large to deflect away from the Earth or destroy it by using nuclear missiles. All residents of Canada are strongly advised to gather with your loved ones, such as family and friends, and brace for our inevitable demise. There is no place to evacuate or seek shelter. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode if you want to. Do not tell younger children about this event, and ensure their well-being during these dark times. We will now conclude the final activation of the Alert Ready system with one last playing of the National Anthem. This broadcast will cease transmission at the conclusion of this alert, and all TV and communications systems will be disconnected for good. May God be with you all. God bless the true North, strong and free. This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended.
This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Information about a cataclysmic event striking our planet has been received. About 30 minutes ago, the UK Space Agency as well as the European Space Agency have discovered a new planet, known as Planet X, or Nibiru. This planet has been knocked out of its orbit due to an unknown cause, and it is set to collide with Earth within the next hour, and will make impact somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. There is nothing that we can do to prevent this planet from impacting Earth, and ending all life on Earth as we know it. Nibiru is too large to be deflected away from the Earth, or destroy it by using nuclear missiles, since it is about four times bigger than Earth. All citizens of Great Britain, our time on this planet is coming to an end. All we must do is brace for impact. Gather with loved ones, including family and friends, and prepare for our doom. There is no place to run or hide. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into a complete panic if you want to. We will now conclude this final emergency broadcast with one last playing of the national anthem. May God be with you all, and God save the Queen. Please stand by for a broadcast from the National Emergency Warning System. Please stand by for a broadcast from the National Emergency Warning System. Please stand by for a broadcast from the National Emergency Warning System. This is an emergency warning. Information about a cataclysmic event striking our planet has been received. The current threat level is emergency, meaning that an emergency is in progress. About 30 minutes ago, the Australian Space Agency, along with many space agencies around the world have discovered a new planet called Planet X, or Nibiru, which is approximately four times the size of Earth. This planet has been knocked out of its orbit due to an unknown cause, and it is expected to collide with the Earth within the next hour, and will make impact in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. There is nothing that we can do to prevent this planet from impacting Earth, and causing the extinction of all species on Earth. Nibiru is too large to be deflected away from the Earth. When Nibiru makes impact, expect the following to occur. An extremely loud bang will be heard across the planet, followed by a bright flash, and violent shaking. A large fire will race across the world in all directions, destroying everything in its path. The sun will be blocked for about 50 to 100 years by the following natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and a nuclear winter following the blast. The earth will be pushed out of its orbit, and Kessler's syndrome will take place. After the impact, the earth will be an uninhabitable, fiery wasteland. Citizens of Australia should gather with loved ones, such as friends and family, and brace for impact. There is nowhere to run or hide. There is no reason to stay calm. Go into panic mode if you want to. Make sure young children are not told about this event and ensure their well-being during these dark times. We will now conclude the final activation of the National Emergency Warning System with one last playing of the National Anthem. This broadcast will cease transmission at the conclusion of this message and all television and communication systems will be disconnected for good. May God be with you all, and God bless the Commonwealth of Australia.